So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a long time since I uploaded my last video. And in this video, I'll get you through creating a response system based on checkpoint uh, using Unreal Engine 5. And actually, this video uh, based on my previous tutorial where I created a health bar system with a die system, a death animation, and a level restart. However, the player always respawn at the default location. So in this video, we'll fix that by implementing a checkpoint system so the player responds at their most recent checkpoint. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully functional response system ready to integrate into your project, even if you haven't watched my previous video. But make sure you have character day and health system implemented. So yeah, let's get started. So this is the last progress of our project. So actually, uh, we have a character system here. <coughs> So where you when you um, get near the fire, you'll be dead, and it responds back to the default location. So I will implement the checkpoint system on the blueprints here. I will create a new folder. Sorry, call it checkpoint. Here you can just uh, create a new actor blueprint class. I'll name this BP underscore checkpoint. Okay, so here, here I'll create a box collision. You can resize this. I'll set the, the hidden in game to false so I can see it in the game. Just for debugging purposes, you can uh, you can enable this if you want. And then I'll create a plane. So this will indicate that this is a checkpoint. Yeah, something like this should work. Let me get five feet. And I'll create a new material. Maybe in this content folder, I can create a new material. I'll name this M underscore checkpoint color. Hold down three to create a vector 3D constant. Plug this into the base color. I'll set the color of this to maybe like a greenish then try that save it call back the checkpoint set the material to be m underscore checkpoint color okay next one click on the box here scroll down um click plus on the on checkpoint begin overlap from the other actor here drag it cast to BP underscore third person character based on your character name. I'll create a function. First one is being the save checkpoint, and the other one is load checkpoint. Now, here from uh, the character here, we're gonna save checkpoint just like that. Compile. Okay, so now we have to handle the save game. Go back into the blueprint. I'll create a new folder, call it save game. This I will create a new blueprint class. Save game. Select BP underscore save game. Create a new variable. I'll name this a uh, checkpoint location. Make it sector. Instance editable. Compile. Go back into BP checkpoint. On the save checkpoint here. We're gonna create a um, save game object. This will be type the BP underscore save game that we have created. On the return value here, we're gonna set the last checkpoint location. From here, we can just drag and drop this into the input pin node over here. It will be created like a last checkpoint location. I'll rename this to a player location. Just like that. Now we're gonna save the game to slot. For the slot name, I'll just make it like checkpoint. Okay, and then we're gonna click on a branch here. Hold B on a, on the keyboard and click to create a branch. And from here, I'll like play a particle effect system. Maybe it will be interesting. So I will play yeah spawn emitter at location. The emitter template here I have create I have imported uh, asset advanced magic fx12 it's not necessary though but if you want you can just use it i will 
maybe this green aura it's pretty good let's check and drop this on the location here again like that actor location maybe i will decrease the scale to 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay go back to the event graph here on the play, play location we can just get actor location from the player into this safe checkpoint node file now let's go into the third person character class over here okay so actually i'll create a new function i'll name this slot checkpoint here log game from slot checkpoint remember this one i'm just gonna pass to dp underscore safe game gonna get the last checkpoint location gonna set the actual location of this player the target of itself and just plug the last checkpoint location into the new location over here that's it it should be working don't forget to plug the last checkpoint into the event game point like that compile now let's um drag and drop the checkpoint actor into the level I'll copy paste to another location. It'll be like this. Gonna play. So here, when you uh, approach the look, the checkpoint, you'll see an effect. It's playing like that. Actually, it's it's looping. So, <laughs> so when we click um, exit the game, click play again. Now the character spawns at the checkpoint location instead of the default location back there how about if we um, go into the new location exit hit play now we spawn on this location itself so how about if we die <coughs> <coughs> And yeah we spawn at the checkpoint location once more so yeah we have came to the end of this video i hope this video uh, helps you if you have any questions don't forget to give a comment in the comment section below and also subscribe and like would be very appreciated guys so yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye bye